Kinulat ng Komisyon ng Audit ang pagpulikong matapos matuklasan na ginamit ng Department of Education o DepEd ang pangalan ng Philippine Army sa kanilang liquidation report kahit walang pondo mula sa hukbong sendataan na inilaan para sa kaganapan ng ahensya. Ayon sa COA, naglabas ang DepEd ng dokumento na nagpapakita ng dimulong isuporta mula sa Army para sa iba't ibang proyekto at aktibidad. Ngunit walang tala ang militar na nagbigay sila ng anumang halaga para rito. Ipinunto ng COA na malaki ang epekto nito sa kanilang auditing process dahil nagbumukhang mayroon tamang pondo at alokasyon ng mga proyekto ng DepEd kahit nawala pa man ito. Ang paggamit ng mga peking financial report o donasyon ay maaaring magdulot ng maling interpretasyon sa audit reports na posibleng makaapekto sa transparency at pananagutan ng ahensya. Hinihiling ng COA sa DepEd na ipalawanag ang kanilang naging hakbang sa paggamit ng pangalan ng ARMY sa naturang dokumento. Agad namang inatasan ng DepEd ang isang internal investigation upang malaman kung paano naganap ang ganitong pagkakamali at ipinangako ng ahensya na magsasagawa sila ng kaukulang aksyon upang maituwid ang sitwasyon at maiwasan ang pag-ulit nito. Samantala, naglabas ng bayag ang Philippine Army na hindi sila sangkot sa anong usapin patungkol sa pondo para sa mga proyekto ng DepEd. At yan nga ang balitang ating pagkakatutukan. Ngunit bago ang lahat, sigurado yung mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell para sa patuloy ng pagtutok sa mga silip ng bagong balita sa tunay na boses ng Masa. participation. That's correct, Kero. And all you did was collect the certifications from the different units of the military. Ay, hindi mo alam, hindi niya rin alam, yet you're just using these certifications to justify something. Parang mali po ata. Ayan na, di ba? Now, here comes Yusef Mempin collecting the certifications from the activities conducted by AFP, submitting it to you, and you submitting it to COA to justify your expense. Yes, Your Honor. That is It's wrong, di ba? Yes, but... From, from all... From, no matter how you look at it, it's so wrong. Kanino bang program itong uh, sinasabi natin na Youth Leader Leadership Summit? Is it a program of the DEPED? The Armed Forces of the Philippines? Kanino? Sino makapagsasabi sa akin? Major General Bajau? Bajau, sir. Bajau? May I recognize, Mr. Chair. You are recognized. Your Honor, it's a Philippine Army-wide program. A three-day activity po. Um, it's an activity... Included in the budget of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. Tama? Yes, Your Honor. It's one of uh, the PPAs in so far as your budget is concerned. Yes, sir. So in other words, when you conduct this, these events, you do not need the help of other agencies or the funding of other agencies. I would disagree to that, Your, uh, your Honor, because uh, we can only spend for our own troops but uh, the need of other participants and the subject matter experts have to be carried by participating now, agencies. Po. What, are, what is the legal basis why the program of the Armed Forces of the Philippines is participated uh, on by other agencies of government? What is the legal basis? Um, Your Honor, we just operate in the context of the Peace and Order Councils. Po. Um, our participation in the POC would uh, also reflect on the participation of other agencies when we conduct this activity, sir. Oh, direct question, Alan General. Did you receive any funds from the con confidential funds of the OVP in the conduct of, your, of these events? No, sir. No? No, sir. There's no uh funds coming from there are no funds coming from the office of the vice president yes sir no funds coming this. from them. thank you uh may may i ask the uh yusek memfin yes sir yusek memfin you are recognized why would yes yes, yes. why yes, would sir. certifications be addressed to you your honor uh Mr. Chair, as uh, I mentioned uh, to uh, a while ago, I was uh, asked by uh, the Office of the Secretary to by get the, uh, report from the... You were asked by the... 
Please office submit. of the secretary. By the? Office of the secretary. And who in the office of the secretary asked you that? Uh, eh, hindi naman pwede magsalita yung office of the secretary, di po ba? So it's there a, must be somebody from the office of the secretary who asked you to do that. It's, And may I know who that is? It's our uh, former chief of staff. Uh, And who might that be? And who might that be? Uh, former uh, Yusek Attorney Mike Powa po sir. Your Honor. Yusek uh, Powa, would you would you agree to the answer of the Yusek uh, of Yusek Mempi? Yes, Mr. Chair, uh, uh, Congressman Akop, yes, I I confirm that. Uh, that you asked him to ask for the certifications uh, from the different unit commanders of the armed, the, the Philippine Army. Uh, if I may explain, uh, Your Honor. The answer yes, is yes. Yes, po. Yes, po. Yes. So, tama yung uh, sagot sa akin ni uh, uh, Yusek Memphis. Yes, po. Yes, na kayo po ang humingi sa kanya, na humingi siya ng certification doon sa mga units ng Philippine Army na nag-conduct ng uh, y, YLS. YLS. Uh, Your Honor, if I may qualify, hindi po specifically on YLS. What I asked for was for any accomplishment. Kasi po, yung ayon doon sa AOM na natanggap namin, pag nagbigay daw po ng rewards, you needed evidence of success of the information you received from the rewards. I mean, you received through the giving out of rewards. So because of this, I coordinated with Yusek Mempin to, see, uh, to, to provide any proof of accomplishment Uh, para po doon sa rewards na na-disburse uh, ng confidential funds. Thank you. And may I ask, uh, you have been in the Army, uh, Yusek Memphin, di ba? Yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Ano po ang part ng uh, programang uh, YLS na may kasamang rewards? Uh, Can you please tell me which part of that program would require the giving or the awarding of rewards? Which part of the program would uh, require uh, the gathering of information? Kasi yun po yung purpose ng confidential fund ng DepEd. Apat po yun. Now, which part of this? Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, for the conduct of YLF uh, per se, there's no, no in that particular, any areas of that for the yes. rewards, giving up rewards, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Basahin ko man ng ilang beses yung uh, programa na yun, walang nagsasabi doon na pwedeng gamitin yung confidential fund ng isang agency. Would you agree with me? Uh, Yes, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Yes. So, Yusek po, ah, mali po yun. Uh, kasi kitang-kita naman na natin eh, that you ask for these documents to support your liquidation in so far as the confidential fund of the Department of Education is concerned. Kasi hindi naman kaya basically primordial na kasama doon po sa mga events na yun eh. And yet, You are submitting or you submitted to COA documents to support your liquidation of the confidential fund of the Department of Education. Wala eh. Kahit na anong basa ko. Kasi, for your information, uh, Yusek Powa, naging controller ako ng police eh, kaya alam ko kung ano ang sinasabi nitong mga membro ng uh, Philippine Army ngayon eh. Alam ko rin na ginagamit nyo lang yun para i-justify yung expenditure nyo ng confidential fund ng Department of Education. Di ba? You just use that to justify your liquidation of the fund. Di po ba? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes. Um, if I may also just... If Your Honor would allow me, Mr. Chair. Sir Michael Powa, you're recognized. Um, basically, just to expound, 
and just so I can inform the committee factually what happened. We received an AOM back in February asking for certain documents, uh, one of which is, are the DEPs, which are the document evidence of payments. Another one would be for the, dung pag may rewards daw, kailangan daw po merong evidence of success. I am, because I am not aware on how the confidential funds are operationalized, I went to our, to Yusek Mimpin, who is the, uh, our former security consultant, to ask if there would be any document that we would be able to, to, to show the COA na meron namang success on the premise that whatever activity was conducted on the ground by the military was targeted because of information received uh, from DepEd due to those uh, rewards given out. Yun po yung pinanggagalingan ko. And when I received the certifications, I submitted them as such uh, in response lang po to the AOM. Mr. Chair, just a clarification. No? I, I think yes, Congressman I, Abante, you I heard him mention that he is not aware of the nature of the confidential fund. Is that right? Not, not the nature, uh, if, if, uh, not, if I may clarify, Mr. Chair, not the nature. I understand the nature of confidential funds, but on how it is actually operationalized or used on the ground under oath, I, I would like to state for the record that I'm really not aware. Hindi ko po nakita yung fund. Hindi ko po alam kung paano siya operationalize on the ground. Ang participation ko po ay naganap nung ako po ay OIC for finance kasi at that time nung na-receive namin yung AOM. And we had to respond to the AOM. And so because we had to respond to the AOM, I had to uh, get all the documentation that the that COA was asking for po through that AOM. So ibig sabihin po, hinihingi nyo lamang po itong uh, uh, mga documentation na to para lang ma-justify kung paano ginamit. Pero in, act, in actual, hindi talaga doon ginamit. Tama po ba? Parang ganun ang pagkakaintindi ko eh. Parang Hinihingi nyo lang po yung certification nung nilabasan na kayo ng AOM. Nung, nung, uh, tama po. Tama po? Nung, nung oh. tama po. Nung yun. lumabas po yung AOM, saka kayo humihingi nito. Kailangan daw po ng evidence of success. Yes. So, so kahit na hindi so, doon ginamit, po. gumawa kayo ng mga documentation na parang doon ginamit. Parang I'm, ganun. Kung tama po yung pagkakaintindi uh, ko. Hindi naman po, Mr. Kasi Chair. lumalabas po, hindi naman po doon ginamit yung confidential fund. Pero, itong documentation na in po nila Yusek Mempin, yun ang sinabit natin sa COAT just to justify yung AOM. Mr. Chair, uh, again, uh, this is just my, under my impression nung nakuha okay. ko yung certification. Na po. Uh, the certification po kasi, uh, when I read it, stated that they, they conducted yung mga YLS uh, based on the information received from LGUs, DepEd, etc. So, ang impression ko po, and again, this is just my impression, is that because of the information they received from DepEd, sinagawa nila, targeted kung saan areas yung YLS. Again, that is just my interpretation of the certification, Your Honor. And now, whether or not that is indeed the case, I really do not have personal knowledge to Yes, but confirm. you have no idea okay. if, if the fund coming from confidential fund was utilized from LYS. Wala po kayo idea. I cannot confirm or okay. deny that, Your Tama. Honor. Yes, uh, the chair would like to recognize. Hi. Yes, uh, please continue, Congressman Akop. Thank you. So, uh, uh, Yusek Memphin, wala pong ibinaba na pondo sa Armed Forces of the Philippines or sa Philippine Army units. Wala. Uh, as para sa akin, sir, wala po po, sir. Yung mga yeah. units ng Philippine Army uh, which conducted the uh, the summit, wala rin po kayong pondong natanggap galing sa DepEd. Would that be correct? Yes, sir. Correct, sir. That's correct. Now, may I ask, bakit kayo nag-issue ng certification? Hindi. That's not you. Kasi hindi naman ikaw nag-certify. 
Uh, why why did you sino issue pong, certification? Sino pong Mr. Chair, uh, Colonel Boran Singh, yes. you are recognized. Uh, Mr. Chair, sir, as I uh, earlier mentioned, sir, uh, because all of, almost all of our activities on the ground are multi-stakeholder, uh, when we appear in activities of one or uh, many agencies, many agencies ask for certifications of attendance, as I have asked the Secretary to issue us with a certificate of attendance that we attended this activity. Uh, we assume that that certification was also for uh, those uh, for that purpose. So a lot of uh, other national government agencies and local government units ask for certifications uh, uh, in that manner also. Uh, so you're trying to tell us that uh, it was uh, Yusek Memfin which required the submission of, that certi of those certifications? Siya po ba nag-require sa inyo? Yes, uh, uh, he asked, Mr. Chair. Yes, sir. Uh, was it uh, through a written document or what? Um, he uh, called our commander, sir. Ganun na po ba ngayon? Sa our, our forces of the Philippines? Well, sir, uh, the other agencies also, like for instance, the Department of uh, the Regional Offices of the Department of Agriculture, uh, TESDA, they also text me during our activities. So I think it's an uh, accepted mode of uh, unofficial communication, sir. Yeah. Huh. Uh, for your information, yun pong purpose ng confidential fund ng Kwan, uh, ng uh, DepEd, in its accomplishment report, ay apat po, for your information. Number one, counterinsurgency programs. Number two is abuse prevention and control within schools. Number three, anti-illegal activities operations and anti-extremism and terrorism programs. Di po ba? Nowhere could I find dito po sa accomplishment report na sinamit ng, ng uh, Office of uh, the Department of Education would I see na yung 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 activity ng Armed Forces of the Philippines is enumerated. Wala eh. Wala akong makita. And yet, yung mga ginawa niyong activities ay eh, nandun na yun dun sa, pagli, uh, sa liquidation ng uh, contingency fund ng DepEd. Bakit ganun? Yusek Mempin, did you not ask why? Uh, uh -huh. When you were asked to uh, to get certifications or to secure certifications from those units of the Armed Forces of the Philippines which contacted the YLS, eh, hindi mo tinanong bakit? Uh, Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chair, as uh, former Yusek po mentioned, I was also informed that uh, uh, the Office of the Secretary needs uh, uh, some impact or outcome of the uh, efforts of uh, the Department of Education in terms of uh, protecting the youth, including the out-of-school youth and, and some IPs. So I was not uh, aware of uh, that is the purely uh, uh, justification for the confidential fund. So uh, I coordinated with the Philippine Army commanders, my former colleagues, to uh, give feedback or in terms of uh, certification that uh, they have conducted uh, wireless in coordination with various stakeholders to include Department of Education. So yun po yung parang pinaka basis ng coordination ko po sa mga Philippine Army units na nandito po ngayon. Kasi maski sa certification, Yusek, wala rin akong nakitang na amount na nakalagay doon sa mga certifications ng mga uh, unit commanders ng Philippine Army. Wala. So, may ibang purpose lang yung pagkuha nyo ng certification na yun. And, uh, and 
as I've said, it is used to justify yung expenditure ng, or pag-spend uh, ng confidential fund ng Department of Education. Now, COA, is, would it be true na nagbigay po kayo ng uh, CN or credit notice dun sa first two quarters ng use ng confidential fund ng, one, ng uh, DEPED? Attorney Camora, you are recognized. Uh, yes po, Mr. Chair. May know the basis why uh, nagbigay po kayo ng credit notice? Kasi what I know is if you, if you give credit notice, everything is proper. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Now, bakit po kayo nagbigay ng credit notice doon sa first two quarters? Uh, since uh, nag-submit uh, po sila ng documents that we required, in the AOM, uh, we deem them okay na po for the compliance. Parang, parang sa joint circular din? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Di ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Actually, uh, yun nga po, yung certifications is And one of the requirements po. When I, I say I mean, parang sa joint circular, you do not do anything to find out whether the, the, the data or the certifications given you uh, would be reasonable or true? Hindi nyo tinitignan, di ba? Um, Mr. Chair, since dun sa certifications, uh, nilagay po nila na due to the collaboration between the DEPED and the Philippine Army, wala pong mga batang recruited. Um, okay na po yun sa amin. Okay na sa inyo. Pursue what to your Uh, shall we say, circulars? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Ganon? Yes, Ganon Mr. Chair. Well, paano, paano nga natin mababantayan yung, yung pagganyan ang inyong pag-iisip? Di po ba? Now, Mr. Chair, please allow me to, to come up with my parochial concern. Because I heard a while ago that uh, Yusek, uh, Yusek uh, Densing was in charge of the allocation of the BEFF or Basic Educational Facilities. Tama po ba? Mr. Chair, if I may. You said then seeing your correct, correct. Pwede ko pang malaman bakit walang napunta sa Antipolo na school building Sir, uh, during your term or the term of uh, BP Sara? Ang nahawakan ko po actually is 24. Hindi, tinatanong ko. Sagutin sir, mo muna ako. Pero sir, ang sa Antipolo kasi, Antipolo, Taytay, tinanong ko rin kasi yan dun sa technical working group, wala na pong buildable space. Yung pang binanggit sa akin. Walang buildable space. Opo. There's a fund with the, the DepEd na pambili ng spaces. Di po ba? Uh, wala po. Yun po ang nilabi namin nung nakaraang G, uh, budget. That is for GA 2022? 24 po. 24. Hindi. Eh, tinatanong ko nga eh. Ah, sa 22 uh, po, wala. Congressman ako noong 2022. Apo. My I, wife was a congresswoman uh, since 2019. No I was not uh, there pero yet. Pero wala no. kaming natatanggap. Apo. Your records will bear me out. Apo, apo. I As recognize. a matter of fact, the first time, 2022, nag-usap po tayo. Kasi, uh, kinausap po ninyo yung mga kuwan eh. Yung mga part members ng parties. Di ba? And we talk. Sinabi ko yung concern ko na yun eh. Apo. We, we did. Uh, in fact, nung ginawa nga nila, may mga uh, districts nga, legislative districts na wala. Now, may I ask you, uh, uh, Yusek Densing, is that uh, following the mandate of the Constitution that you are supposed to equitably distribute government resources? That's the part, that's the part of the criteria Nade. that I mentioned to the National Technical Nade. Working Group. Tinatanong nga kita eh. Apo. Uh, when you do not allocate school buildings, doon sa isang lugar. Is that equitable distribution? Uh, again, sir, the problem was there, is, there are no buildable spaces in the area. Sino po ang nagsabi? Yung National Technical Working Group po. Itong 2024, humingi ako. Opo. 2024, humingi ako. There are buildable spaces. Pero wala pa rin. And you cannot explain that to me. Uh, well, sir, I could not answer because the, the fund was really small at the time. Uh, originally at 9.7 NEP. So what you're trying to tell me, Yusek, is that 
hindi po priority dong yung distrito ko po. No, sir. Priority po inyo dahil mataas po ang uh, shortage sa antipolo. Uh, kasi nag, nag, uh, meron pa kami three shifts eh. Tapo, opo. Oh. Kaya po, priority kayo, taytay. Oh, tay. pero, pero wala pa rin kami. Kung priority kami sa mata ninyo, eh bakit hindi kami nabibigyan? Uh, o yun baka bag. tama yung sinasabi ni Johnny Pimentel? Ay, hindi po tama yan. No. Hindi po tama yan. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. The Chair would like to recognize the Honorable Jonathan Kate Flores. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <clears throat> uh, Isaac Mempin. Yes, uh, Your Honor. Mr. Sir, uh, is there any other person, is there any other USEC who has been uh, given the same designation to oversee the YLS programs? Oh, ikaw uh, lang, from DepEd. Actually, I was not uh, the one in charge of the YLS. I was just tasked to coordinate with the Philippine Army in regards to the report of uh, their conduct of YLS. But... Uh, in the uh, Department of Education, uh, the uh, Operation Strand is the one uh, uh, who has the mandate of uh, uh, under po sa kanya yung program ng wireless, but hindi po sa administration. Strand. So are you saying na as far as uh, these certifications are concerned, ang only parang role mo or designation mo was to collect them? Yes po, yung to collect them to coordinate po. to coordinate with them yes okay and uh, the yes, collection uh, was for the purpose of liquidating the expenses or hindi mo alam what for what for what purpose uh, i was not exactly aware but uh, i made aware of uh, they need uh, some uh, to see the impact of uh, the collaborations of uh, the Department of Education with the Philippine Army and other stakeholders that resulted through the wireless that resulted to the prevention of uh, uh, recruitment through violence extremism and other oh, uh, sir, uh, threats. Uh, sir. You said impact, no? Uh, impact of the wireless conducted by the AFP? Ang ibig mo sabihin? Uh, yes, sir, which is the prevention of recruitment. Yes, so what then is the role of DepEd when it was purely... AFP event? Uh, because uh, if not all, majority of the participants are uh, also students. coming from the school. Yes, schools. but other than them being students, it's as if DepEd is claiming an activity that was not theirs in the first place. Tama po ba? Uh, yes, sir. We just purpose of coordination. What, what coordination? You just ask for the certifications. What coordination are you talking about? Uh, na yung activity eh. You just ask for a certification. What coordination are you talking about, Yusak Mempin? Coordination for the uh, certification because... For the uh, certification, but okay. not for the activity itself. Tama ba? Uh, yes, sir, because... Yes, that my but point. then you are claiming that the impact was because of the DepEd activities. You are asking for certifications, claiming that this was the impact of the activities of DepEd by spending their uh, confidential funds on this and that, etc., etc., uh, Your Honor, let me correct. It's not uh, DepEd initiating, but uh, the activity of, because uh, the conduct of wireless is uh, primarily the activity Kaya or na. program of... Uh, You're uh, asking for a certification that they conducted this and they included uh, the, this number of uh, young persons. And the only contribution actually DepEd has was that most of the students there were enrolled in DepEd. But actually, wala kayong actual participation in the YLS, tama po ba? That's correct, right? That's correct, Your Honor. And all you did was collect the certifications from the different units of the military that they conducted these uh, activities and that they had this number of participants. Tama po ba? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay, now, Mr. Poa, who directed you to secure the certifications? Mr. Poa, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Sir, no one directed me. No one directed I was the you. one who coordinated. So, it. initiative mo lang na mag-secure ako ng certifications kasi may kailangan ako ng justify na expense. Tama po ba? Opo, but yes, sir. But not necessarily.
Magandang balita ang hatid namin sa inyo ngayong araw sa pagtatapos ng aming balitaan nagbigay kami ng mga mahalagang impormasyon maraming salamat sa pagtutok at pagsuporta sa aming programa huwag kalimutang manatili sa mga susunod na araw para sa mga bagong balita at mga kwento na dapat nating abangan mula sa boses ng masa magandang araw Pilipinas